I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Got a 10 liter bottle. Ah, that's no good. I got something a little different in store. So stick around, things could get a little interesting. Taking a few little shortcuts here. That's what they call these off-road bikes, I guess, for a reason. So there we go. Well, watch out for those daggers. Those are the ones I'm always talking about. our old trails it looks like. I don't even remember this one to be honest. We've got a few that snake along the side of the trails but some of them last a while back this got logged out so most of them got taken out over here. Kind of a cool section. Oh jump a heavy backpack on so we're not going too crazy over the big jumps it's pretty awesome up in some of this area some of these areas See, I don't like to stick to the trails too often if I can help it. But here's a good hill coming up. I'm going to do a how-to on this one in one of my upcoming... See, there's actually a hard enduro style one there. It's just pretty much bedrock. And then this one's just steep. I actually went over it... Um, I think in one of my, last fall, one of my exploring videos, there was about three inches of snow on it. I went over, just gave you a few pointers and stuff, so I'll do a better one in upcoming videos. Another little bridge coming up. Smaller little river or creek, I guess. Yeah, that one's just a trickle now. Boy, the other day it was like major waterfall. It's a pretty nice day. Lots of nice trees around here. the old uh, exploring hat on. I don't think you guys have ever seen that one, so when I get that out, things are getting serious.
another rock I like to climb once in a while. This bedrock here on the KTM, I can actually sneak up there pretty good. I'll have to get some clips of that. It's pretty nice around here. I always try and wheelie through a lot of these bumps. You know, like the looser stuff and that just makes it it's not as sketchy when you're not plowing the front tire through there. There are lots of really cool obstacles around here, like this big rock. I absolutely love stuff like that. I was going to come up here with some of my buddies. You can see all the rocks, they're just poking out everywhere. I was going to come back up here and clear some of the debris out of the way and get some shots going over some of this stuff. Definitely a cool little area. It's pretty open back in there. Well, a few few uh, windfalls and that, but lots of cool rocks and stuff. So don't be surprised if you see some of this stuff in some of my upcoming videos. Like I always say, I got so much stuff to film. It's just I need the time to get up here and and film it all. Pretty much everywhere as I go is beautiful. So we're on part of a plateau. Back up in here. I actually did some filming before up in here. It's just awesome. It's actually quite large. I can't remember the name of it. But it extends for like kilometers like 20 or 50 square it's huge maybe even more but there's just tons of cool areas so I just decided to do a quick walk around and check it out around here and See what I see on the ground laying over here, a little walkie-talkie of some sort. Pretty cool, I don't know what those are. Bull whips or bull something. So here's kind of a cool spot. A buddy and I actually came up here. Oh geez, that was probably a long time ago, probably 10 years ago, maybe more. And it's really nice overhang and it's actually kind of undercut. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but we did some rappelling off there. We're not really experts or anything like that, but I've got all the gear and the ropes and that, so I'd make another cool adventure. I almost see a little bit of a plateau. I don't know if we can get up in there or not. I guess there's one way to find out, isn't there? Well, that's a little gnarlier than I thought. I'll try another approach. I think I picked a root out. I've got a pretty heavy backpack. Ah, that's no good. Trying to avoid that stick. Okay, attempt number three. I think I have a route this time. Look at that, eh? That's all clutch to get up there. I was hoping we'd have a nice plateau. And Ooh, took my took lots of energy to do that. Very cool. There we go. Oh yeah. Windfall City. Well, just around the corner here is a spot that I was gonna spend a couple hours, make some lunch. 
maybe whip up a little uh, hot dog on the, or a smoky on the fire. Ground looks nice and damp, so there's no fire ban or anything. Oh, nice, someone left us an old car. It's nice when people do that, eh? I highly doubt that it still runs. Yeah, I know that would need a tune up for sure. Darn, if it was a little smoother at the back, you could ride over it. That'd make for a cool picture. Oh, well, eventually the tow truck guys come and drag them out or. Whew, that was a big one. Oh, yeah, there's a little fire pit over a nice little lake. Get the good old bear spray out until we get a bit of a fire, anyways. I usually don't like smoke, but yeah, there's no shortage of bears in Canada. So I got the little fire teepee built. Got the good old fire kit there. Show you guys, what's in there? I got a little bit of everything in there lighter, candle. Smoke will help keep the mosquitoes and hopefully help with the bears too. Look at that, I hear crackling. So that went up really easy. All I usually do is just bring a little candle, light the candle with the lighter or whatever, and some dry wood and she went up easy. There's something else I like to bring too and that's my folding bucket, 10 liters. It's really small here so there's a lake right behind me, which I'll show you, but that way if there's any trouble with the fire, I've got a 10 liter bucket of water ready to go. Got a little fire sparked up there pretty easy. So there we go, we got a little fire going. Got my little fire kit there. Got my bucket of water. That's a pretty cool unit there. So, it's a cool little spot. Just out on a short day. Just decided to come up into the hills for some lunch, make a smoky or two. Got all my goodies here. I'm by no means a camping expert, but I've done a little bit when I was younger. And I watched a lot of Survivor Man episodes. As you can see, I got the good old Les knife. Got the good old hot dog stick. Can't leave home without a nice tiny little hatchet. Fire kit, my folding bucket. Camera, as always, tripod. Extra water, got my straw just in case I get extra thirsty. Best part of all. Gotta slice your smokies, folks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be yummy. Extra mustard. This is a nice little lake here. Pretty cool little spot down here. You can see there's another big lookout way up there. I'll take you guys up there one day. That one's really big. Like it, you can see, you can see a lot of stuff. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up episode 11 in my exploring series. I guess we'll call it lunch in the mountains or something like that. So you guys take care. 
Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these kind of videos. Because if you guys dig them, then I'll do more for sure. But I mean, if they're not going over very well, I don't see a point. They're a lot of work to film. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, definitely do that because then you get your notification when I put out a new video. So if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon account, the link is in the description. So definitely have a look at that. That's just a way to chip in and buy me a beer or something like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.